Okay, so Apple just gave us access to the Apple Playground. When you get your hands on iOS 18.2, you get this little app right here with the little kitty cat on the inside or whatever that's supposed to be. This is Apple's Playground, and this is a new part of Apple Intelligence. So let's talk. Here we go. I'm gonna be opening up the playground because I've already been kind of playing around in here, making faces of myself, my family, and things like that. And these faces come out pretty accurate when you're making them. So when you open it up, there's gonna be nothing in here, but you actually just click on that. And now it is going to give you all of these little themes and costumes and accessories and places, things of that nature. So I'm gonna show you how this actually works. Now you can take a picture of either a plant, an animal, or a person, and it's actually going to create like a, a animated AI version of that item thing. Let's try it with this plant here. So I do have this, whatever, it's a fake plant, uh, and we're going to just uh, take a photo. So this is it, we will take a photo of it, and we'll use that photo for this demonstration. It's gonna think about what it wants to do, and now it's gonna show me that plant right there. And now, as it gets a little smarter, what it does is it gives you different variations of that plant that we just took a picture of. I may choose that one. Just leave it on that one. If you wanna keep going with variations, you just keep swiping, and it keeps making them gives you different types and I kind of like that one as well. So let's stick with that one for right now. So since we're going to pick that one, now we can change to city, park, space, or stadium, or on a stage, or in the mountains. We're going to put it next to a volcano or in a volcanic background. We got a volcano in the background there. So there we go. We got the volcano in the background and now we can go from different places to different accessories, costumes, themes, things of that nature. So we're not going to do that with the plant because I'm not sure what adventure will do for the plant. Let's just see. Okay, so just made the volcano a little bit larger. So that, that's what we get. So we can actually do that. And we can sometimes, now this is in beta still, so we gotta keep all that in mind. You can actually type in a description and say, hey, change that plant to purple. Now, sometimes this works, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, just keep in mind. Okay, so we put pur purple around the bottom. If you wanna save that picture, you hit done, and then it gives you the actual picture that you just made. So it works pretty good for it to be a beta program. Next up, we're gonna try a face. So basically I'll take my face once again, since I've already done it before and I don't wanna put anybody's kids on here, not even my kids. Um, here we go. And it makes a pretty good picture of me. And it even gives me my hair back in some of them. <laughs> but that's what it's gonna look like. Now, if I want a sci-fi version of my picture, it gives it a sci-fi feel. And let's say I want it to be summer. And I'll actually take the sci-fi out summer and there we go okay now let's try something else um let's say i want to go back to being a chef we'll take summer off and i hit chef okay perfect now let's say if i want to add more facial hair add more facial uh hair Boom. So we'll add some facial hair. It gives me a little stubble around there. Um, you can talk to that as well, and you can save it. And remember, it's gonna give you different variations of that picture, just like so. I kinda like this one. That looks more like me. So we're gonna say yes on that, and we're gonna click done. And it's actually gonna save that picture, and then I can come down here and I can share it I can save that image, I can copy the files, 
I can do basically whatever I want to do with that image. So it's a really good tool to use for AI. I used it on my dog earlier, gave me that picture and it gave me the swipe, swipe. It gave me not that picture, but it gave me that picture. So this is more realistic of my dog, but when I asked it to smile, it gave me that picture. <laughs> So that is what you get when you are working with Apple Playground. Now, the next thing that it actually gave us was Magic Wand. So I'm going to break this video up so it's not super long and I'm probably going to be doing Magic Wand on my iPad. So we'll be coming back a little later and we'll talk about how Magic Wand is going to work. We'll come back. We'll still talk about it because we know it's still in beta, still working on it. Make sure it's OK. And uh, I'll give you a little sneak peek of how Magic Wand works in your notes application. So hopefully this has been able to help someone out. And until next time, Average Tech Guy out. Peace.